All right, guys, so we're on lesson 4-2, which is using models to multiply two-digit numbers by multiples of 10. So this very first one is asking us to draw an area model to show 20 times 26, and then using that area model to find the product. So what I'm going to do is I break it up into its place value. So I have this 26, and I'm going to break it up into the tens and the ones. So I'm going to draw a box. And remember, I break it up into 20. And then my ones is six. I have six ones. If I was drawing little boxes, then I draw six little boxes like this. And now on the side over here is what I'm multiplying by. So I'm multiplying it by 20. So this is my area model. And now I'm going to use that to solve by filling in these blanks. So I have a length of 20 and a length of 20. So that's 20 times 20, which my basic math fact is 2 times 2, which is 4, and I add two zeros on 400. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. That has a length of 20, I'm sorry, a length of 6, and a width of 20. So that's 6 times 20. My basic math fact is 6 times 2 is 12, and I add that 0 on for 120. So now what do I do for my product? Well, I add the two boxes together. So I add 400 plus 120, and what do I get? I get 520 for my answer. So let's head to number 2 now. The place value blocks array shows 10 times 16. Find the product. So this first one is saying we have 10 groups of 10. So what is that? Well, I can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Or I could just know 10 groups of 10 is 10 times 10, which also equals 100. Either one. Now it's telling me I have 10 groups of 6. So I can count all these up. Or I can be like, hey, I know that's multiplication. So I have 10 times 6. And I know 10 times 6 is 60. And now what I do? It says I just add them up. So I get 100 and 60 for my answer. So let's head on to our next part, down at the bottom. It's saying use place value blocks, area models, or arrays to find each product. So let's start with this one right here first. 10 times 22. Well, this is showing me that there's 20 up here and two right there. And what's on the side? Well, it has a side of 10. So now I just multiply and find out what these equal. 20 times 10 equals 200, and 2 times 10 equals 20. And now I can just add those up, and I would get 200 plus 20 equals 220. Now I'm just going to turn the page over to see if it's bleeding through on the other side. So it looks like I'm good, so I'm going to keep using this marker just because it shows up a little bit better. So now, let's go to this one. 10 times 13. Well, I see right here, I have 10 groups of 10. So 10 groups of 10 is 100. And then I have 10 groups of 3. So that's 10 groups of 3. 10 times 3 is 30. So what is 100 plus 30? Well, that's 130 for my answer. So now let's head to this part down here. It says use place value blocks, area models, or arrays to find each product. So I'm going to draw this picture right here. It's going to be a little smaller, so I'm sorry about that, guys. And I'm breaking up into 30, and I'm breaking up into 5. And now on the side, that's this number right here. I'm multiplying it by 20. 20 times 30 is 600, and then 5 times 20 is 100. So now I add those together, 600 plus 100 equals 700. So let's go on to our next one. So this next one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm breaking up into 40, and I'm breaking up into 1 from that 41. Now the side is 20. So now what do I do next? Well, I have 20 times 40 is 800, and I have 20 times 1 is 20. So what do I do? Well, I add 800 with 20, and I get 820. So now let's do my next part. 
29. I'm breaking that up into 20 and 9, and I'm multiplying it by 30. So I have 20 times 30 is 600. 30 times 9 is 270, and I add those up. 600 plus 270 is 870. Now let's go on to our next one. 40 times 37. So again, I'm breaking up into my tens place value and my ones place value. And I'm multiplying it by 40. So I have 40 times 30 is 1,200. And I have 40 times 7 is 280. So now let's add those up. And I get 1,480. So we got this down. So I'm not going to draw my models for this, for this next one. So I'm just going to break it up into my two place values of 70 times 10, which is 700, and then 70, or 6 times 10, which is 60. So I get 760. And this part right here is similar to this kind of model that I'm doing up here. So now I have 50 times my first place value is 10 which is 500 and then I have 50 times 2 which is 100 so when I add those together I get 600 so now let's head on to our next one which is 7 because I'm using my 7s back so we have 70 times 20 because that's my place value here which is 1400 and then I have 70 times 9, which is 630. When I add those up, I get 2,030. So now on for our last one. I'm going to do it in marker. We have 80 times 40. And then we have 80 times 3. And so what do we get with those? Well, this first one is 3,200. And then my next one is 240. So I had to change the marker, or get out of the marker because I wasn't going to have enough room, I realized. So when I add those together, what do I get? Well, I get 3,440. All right, let's head to the back side now. So here's our back side, guys. So let's get started. It says, in the first three months of the year, an electronics store sold 1,446 cameras. How many cameras did it sell in March? Write and solve an equation. Well, looking over here, I see how much it sold in two months. So I need to figure out what it is. Well, I know all together, and I'm going to, it sold 1,446. So that's its total that it started with. And we need to subtract, we need to take away how much it sold in January how much it made in February. Oops, but it wasn't a four, it was a three. And so now, what do I do? Well, that's going to equal my March or my C for cameras. So I'm gonna rewrite it for us. 1,446 minus 486 minus 385 equals C for cameras. I could do M for March, whatever I want. That's my equation. Notice how I have that equal sign. Now when I subtract, what does C equal? Well, C equals 575. So in March, they said that cameras. Now, question number 14 says this. For every camera sold in February, the store donated $2 to charity. How much did the store donate? Well, I see February is right here. So I have 385 times 2. And I'm now going to multiply. And I have 2 times 5 is 10. Regroup that 1. 2 times 6 is 16. Plus 1 is 17. Regroup that 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So how much did they donate to charity? They donated $770. Now let's head to number 15. During a basketball game, 75 cups of fruit punch were sold. Each cup holds 20 fluid ounces. How many total fluid ounces of fruit punch were sold? Well, what I have is I have 20 of these models are showing us. 
and or I have 75 of these models, but each one is 20 groups. So that's 75 times 20. Which, if I remember from before, I have several strategies I can do. I'm going to do one that we haven't talked about that much. I'm going to ignore this zero and just do 2 times 75, which I know my quarters, 75 plus 75 is 150. And then like we talked about yesterday, I can add this zero back on. So how much was it? It was 1,500 fluid ounces. Number 16 now. There are 46 fourth graders at a school. Each fourth grader writes three books reports. Show how to use the distributed property to find the number of book reports printed. So, what it's asking me to do is this. I have three book reports times 46. There's 46 people. So, how do I use that distributed property? Well, remember my distributed property is I multiply this three by every place value. So, what is that going to look like? It's going to look like this. I break that 46 up into 40 plus 6. And then I use that 3 and I distribute it to the 40. So I'd have 3 times 40 plus 3 times 6. So now I just solved that. So that's going to be 120 plus 18. And what is that when I add that together? Well, that's 138 book reports. Just because I want that label as well. Okay, let's head to number 17, our last one. Angel sold 15 magazine subscriptions for $30 each. Walt sold 22 subscriptions for $20 each. Use a raise or area model to explain who raised more money. Well, I really like that area model. So, I'm going to do 30 times 15. So, I'm going to break that up into my tens. And my ones. So remember, 10 plus 5 is equal to 15, which is where this guy came. And then this side is 30. So now what do I do? Well, I do 30 times 10 is 300. And right here, I do 5, since that's how wide it is, times 30, that's how long it is. 30 times 5 is 150. So how much money did you raise? Well, 30, or 300 plus 150 is $450. So this is how much Angel raised. What about Walt? Well, Walt had 22 times 20. So let's draw our model. This is my 20 that goes on the side. It's that like plain boring number. And 22 is broken up into two tenths. So there's my 20. And two ones. So there's my ones place five. Remember, it's tens and ones. So now what I have? 20 times 20 is 400. 20 times 2 is 40. So now, let's see what we have. That would be 400 plus 40 is 440. So who raised more money, Walt or Angel? I see Angel did by $10. All right, guys, good job.